Hi everyone, this is Dinakaran and welcome back to my YouTube channel, RPA Space. So as we already know, right, in this channel, we are going to see uh, small activities or whatever be the small functions that's going to help uh, who's going to start our RPA journey as a fresh, right? So on that note, we are going to see a small Excel related function today, how we're going to get a data from Excel and store it in the data table using UiPath, right? So what are the steps we are going to follow in this activity is right. We are going to use Excel scope activity. And from that, you have to specify from which Excel path you're going to read it. So you can mention it either as a variable or even hard coded for testing purpose. And pose that you need to use read range activity. I'll show you in hands on. And then you have to specify the sheet name. If you want to go with the default sheet one, then that's fine. So if not, you have to mention specifically the sheet from which you are going to fetch the data and uh, mention the output uh, data table from uh, where you want to store the data, right? So that you have to mention it, right? So without getting delay, right? So we are going to perform all the steps into our UiPath uh, tool, right? So jumping back to UiPath. So this is UiPath works because if someone is already familiar, they'll be like by this time, well, we're settled with this uh, UI. But if someone who is new, right? So they had to go to, a UiPath and uh, UiPath Studio, they had to launch and open. So that those are all kind of a different activity. But right now, assume that everyone is familiar to open UiPath. And now we are at the stage. So here we are going to go to activities. In that activities uh, tab, we are going to search for Excel scope. Right. So Excel scope is one of the activity which is used to read the value uh, from uh, right excel whatever it is from your specified location right here it will ask for the path where from where you want to read the data so here i can directly go here by clicking the folder icon and specify where i have the uh, input source excel files for example i've kept it here right so i can choose it in this version so which will still accept so in case if you don't want to do it in that fashion you can still go ahead and create a variable, right? So for example, I can, I can go here and create, right? Excel path, Excel path uh, as an input, which way, which is going to hold the whole path, right? So I'm going to take the whole path and put it here. So this is going to hold the path instead of hard coding it here directly, I'm going to use that variable, right? So you can just use it by typing there. So how to create a variable? Of course, I've explained it in the previous video itself, right? So you can either go here to the variable section and click on the create variable part, or you can just go to that input section, right? So work for like workbook path and give control here. That will be the simple, easy step to create a variable, right? So now we have defined the Excel for from which we need to read the data. Now, the second step to do it is like you have to use a read range activity, right? So you had to put a read range. As soon as you put a read range, you will have a default sheet name as like sheet one. But if you're dealing with the different sheets, right? So you had to delete it and give it whatever be the sheet ranges. So for example, in this sample data insurance sheet. So I want to read the information from policy data. So I had, I can go to this sheet and I can copy the sheet name. Going back to this read range activity within double quotes, I had to mention the sheet uh, from where I had to fetch the value, right? So here, if you specify the range from A1 to B1, A2, B2, so whatever be the range, then that could be a different case. But here I want to, uh, I had, I want to fetch all the data from that Excel for particular sheet. So in this case, I can just give it as a double quote, which is symbolically it'll help you to fetch all the information from that particular sheet and store it in the data table, right? So you want to store the particular data into a data table for that you have to create a data table. Either you can just click here and just give control K to create a variable and then hit enter for which you, you can be able to create a new variable since I have already a variable. So I'm going to use it uh, here, the same, variable, right? So I have a variable called Excel data from where I want to store my Excel information, which I'm trying to fetch it from particular sheet. So now let's uh, run our process and see what value we're getting it. 
So there is a two option to do it. So in a debug mode, if you are using 2020 and above versions, right? So you can just give step into each activity and you can be able to see what result this is going to fetch in, right? So for example, Excel path, it's trying to read, yeah, it's trying to read the policy data, right? So you can go to the Excel variable in the local variable, you can be able to see the value during runtime, right? So you can see here Excel data as a data table, which we have defined it to store it. So we, we can still see whole lot of information that's getting captured from particular Excel and stored it into a, this data table, right? So in case, if you want to visualize this data table into a different, uh, uh, different sheet or different Excel, that could still be possible one. So what you can do is like take one more Excel scope and in that Excel scope, just mention, right? Some location, which you want to store, for example, I, I will give here as like, uh, desktop as a location, right? So I'll put it as like test dot xlsx and sorry, it's not there, right? So I can do it here, right? Click and give new. So either you can create a new worksheet and ask the bot to store it in that particular worksheet or what you can do is like instead, you can just uh, take a path and give like, this is the place I want to store my output of Excel and then what will be the output name of it. So let's take like uh, Excel data dot Excel SX. And this is where your output is going to get stored. If, if your Excel is already there, it's going to be, it's going to load into that Excel. If your Excel is not there, board is going to create a new Excel for you with your specified name and your specified location. And it will be able to write it if you give it in this fashion. So go to write range activity, go here and uh, def by default, you'll have uh, sheet one as a range from where you want to write. I want to write it from cell one itself. So I can leave it as, as it is. So, but it'll ask for what data you want to write it in that sheet, right? So here in this case, I'm going to give Excel data, which I got it from this read range activity. You can see here, this is a read range activities output is Excel data. For that, I'm going to write it into a new Excel, which is called Excel data. That is where we are going to see our output or we can witness our output from one sheet to the other sheet, right? So before running it, if you see any Excel kept open, just close it or else it will throw error. So of course we'll be able to deal that uh, details in the next uh, upcoming uh, sessions, right? Now our, our task is done. So it's done with what it need to be. So you can see here, there is a Excel called Excel data, which is created. And in that Excel data, you can see all the Excel um, information, which we asked to extract and that is getting stored. So this is how you can extract your information from one Excel and you can store that Excel into a new Excel activity as well. Right? So uh, in this way we can manipulate the Excel data either you take it into data table and do whatever conversion you want, or you can go to a new fresh Excel, you can store it as well. Right. So this is what I want to show it in the short video. We'll come up with a lot more scenarios and new Excel related activity and few other functionality as well in the upcoming sessions. So stay tuned with the channel and we'll be keep posting useful functionality for beginners. Yeah. Thank you.